So La Liga and Liga F team of the season start tonight and it is looking stacked. The Friday SBC tends to be a banger. The Annie last week, this time round, we got Jules Koundé. If you need FC24 coins for team of the season, there's one place you should go, MMOEXP.com. Link is in my description and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to save yourself 5% off your order. So Jules Koundé, not cheap, but not crazy expensive. I'll get the actual price shortly, but block, bruiser, style tackle, play style plus. The pace, the dribbling, the defending, the physical looks good on paper. He is only 5'11", so not the tallest, but I've used a lot of Koundé cards, the Trailblazer and is it the Winter Wild card? Can't remember which one, but he was available as part of the cup objective uh, yesterday. Doesn't matter too much with this man. He makes up for it in other departments. He can play as a right back. However, looking at the dribbling, I wouldn't be doing that. The speed is crazy. He's going to feel super fast. Defending physical, you can't really fault it. It's not maxed out the physicals, but a chem style like an anchor here, just to fine tune defending physical and pace is probably the way to go. Dribbling, the reactions, the composure, the ball control is good, the passing, he's got it coming out the back. No anticipate, bit of a letdown, but of course, bruiser, slide tackle, block, he's got intercept and jockey, ping pass, long ball pass, relentless and quick step. Let me know your initial thoughts and let me know what you think about La Liga team of the season because what are some of these cards? They're mental. I try my best to review as many as I can. 600k is the estimated price. We'll check it again in a little bit. But Chemstar Wise anchors what I'm going to give him. And let's get into it. This is Champs Qualies, by the way. 9 0 as it stands. This is for the clean 10 0. And that is a nice look. He just needs a red center back to have that half and half squad. Almost there, lad. Oh, hold up. Why have you paused it? Oh, okay. Take it back. Your team's rubbish. All right, Jules. Press is on. Dribbling stats are a bonus. Decent passing and passing play styles as well. Allow me to kind of, you know, be feel a bit more confident when I'm on the ball with him under pressure. Spread out a wide here. Hold up. Little turn. Little left stick turn. Controlled sprint and float it. Okay, I like the look of that. God, billy has got some speed about her, hasn't she? Kunde coming across. Gets spun in first instance, but we do enough in the second. Like speed and jockey speed are something that he really did like shining in earlier versions. We don't have jockey play style plus on this one, but... He still feels pretty lively in that department. It should take uh, a very skillful opponent to be able to send him to Tesco, that's for sure. Little foot race potential. Go on, play him. Okay, not quite ideal. Ball back to Billy's good. We're out of position with Koundé. And we're 1-0 down. Go on, play that through ball to Rashford. That's it. We'll be sweeping up real quick. I'm playing him on the left side, by the way. He's not left-footed, but... I feel like uh, Big Canate is alongside Vasquez. He's a little bit small. So just to balance out the height of the back four, basically. Yes, that's it. That's what I like to see. Switched on. Oh, we've been sent. We've been sent. I'll move the keeper as well, but he dives out the way of it. Yeah, sitting down, Kunde. No more nonsense now. I'm flying. I'm going for the ankles, mate. Go on, lad. We want a pen for that. <laughs> I'll shake him ahead because I thought he fluffed it up. You know what? It wasn't a penalty, right? This game doesn't matter to me. So we're going to trust Koundé here. 58 on the old penos. We're smashing this top right, bro. It's top right. Fly. Break the net. Let's go. Debut goal. Well, technically it's his second game because the guy quit at 0-0 in the first one. But let's go. Yeah, like, if you are in a tricky situation, your opponent's pressing you, don't feel scared to control sprint with Koundé. That's definitely a positive of having a card with those kind of nice dribbling stats. That's it, Mbappe. In the middle, lack of sweaty, and we're getting sweaty. Come on. I'm sorry. How are we not winning this, man? That was ridiculous. There we go. There it is. Finally, we make it 3-2. Come on. Yes, 4-2. Let's go. Switched on here. Get Jules in. Yes. I do definitely think jockey speed is uh, is a huge addition to this card. He does remind me a bit of wan -Bissaka in that way that he feels a little bit lightning quick to be a centre-back, which is definitely a, a big addition, especially when you're playing against like really quick, cracked dribblers up front, which basically most team of the season cards are at this stage. Oh, Jules. Yeah, that's it. That's my ball playing centre back, lad. Through ball's a bit questionable there, but it finds its way. Lacazette. Go on, lad. Go on. <laughs> Is that an own goal, by the way? 
Oh, fantastic. All right, so my opponent, he's, uh, he's embarrassed. Bless him. So he's just doing this now. So uh, let's skip <laughs> I'm going to skip it forward to the next game. So yeah, use an easy SBC. Let me load this up quickly while uh, my man's wasting my time here. Uh, let me show you the website I use to check prices normally. Easy SBC, really, really nice. It's easysbc.io is essentially what you search. We're in extra uh, added time, by the way, so that game should be done in a second. But 97.9 meta rating. That's pretty high. 100 is the max, so that's a good sign. And 565k is the estimated price. So 10 0 in champs qualities. Now it's time for elite rivals. Let's lock in. Uh, I see Pele, I see Cruyff. Decent competition for the, the not so much big man, but for the chap at the back, Jules Koundé. Koundé sweeps in. Nice little uh, left stick control there. Ping pass up to Mbappinho. Let's get a little cushion real quick. Oh, that's a big interception. Big interception. I thought I overcommit a little bit, but no, he makes up for it. Gets those legs in the way. <laughs> I mean, I've pressed stand tackle, but I guess he's already in possession, so he boots it out for the corner. Switched on. Boys making the blocks. I think that's a combination of uh, Kunde and Kanate blocking that one. Whoops out wide. We'll cover the line a bit here. He might be 5 foot 11. Not the tallest, but he's still got a reach in those legs. Two really nice interceptions in that kind of position in the field, man. We're committed. Coming across, though. Speed is something he's not lacking in. I also love the way he sprints. He like puts his arms out like this while he's running. It just gets me, man. Oh, that's big. That's big. Coming in clutch defensively right here. Some really nice jockey speed again. Clinical tackle. No anticipate, which is uh, something that a lot of people would frown upon, especially for the price tag. Tends to be the most popular out-and-out centre-back play style, but I'm not noticing a lack of it right now. Oh, press is on here. Kunde. Now, I couldn't quite see if he made the block there. I'm pretty certain he did. But just the positioning, super quick, super responsive. And let's just give him that one. So 562k and 300 coins will get you this man, Jules Koundé. Is he as good as Kanate? Wambasaka, who I've been loving recently, and all the other crazy crap team of season cards that are, let's be real, probably a little bit cheaper than 560k. I think he's a bit unique compared to those guys. And you've got to really ask yourself, can you cope with using a smaller center back? Like, I've been using Kanate, 6 foot 4, Saliba, 6 4. Wamba Saka, though, 6 foot. I quite like having that kind of little and large combination because Kunde is quick, super responsive. And I feel like if Kanate overcommits, can't get back quick enough, Kunde's sweeping in behind with the speed, with the jockey speed to make the tackles. And I did really enjoy him. I think for the price tag, it's reasonable. It's what you'd expect. If he was on the market, he probably would go for something similar. So that's something to take into mind here. He might even be more expensive than that because he's a sought after player. And one thing for sure, if you're not like super, you know, committed to it, you can wait, see if you pack Barca players. There's so many mad ones in packs. It's a nice way to get chemistry to France and of course, Barcelona La Liga. So in that aspect, he's decent. Uh, definite strong points for sure. The speed, 100%. Didn't feel like he got bullied at all. Every time he went into attack and he came away with the ball, which is nice. Of course, you are sacrificing the height. He doesn't have aerial as well. So from corners, if your opponent's whipping it in, you're probably a little bit screwed there, unfortunately. But it is what it is. No anticipate. I didn't really notice like a lack of uh, well, not having that play style, that's for sure. I think he's decent. Let me know your center backs down below. Let me know. Hopefully, I can help you decide if he's worth doing for yourself. I'd be more subscribing to. Catch you later.